greetings everybody in this class we will be discussing the qualifier paper of computational thinking now let's start it right away if you observe question number 60 it is just optional question and in the question number 61 we are given or we are shown the data sets that are to be used in the qualifier exam where you will be using these four references in case if you forget the format of the given data sets And now here comes the first question. The following pseudocode is executed using the scores data set. See, as I said just now, if you want to infer something or if you want to just have a glance of the scores data table, then you can just scroll up to the second question where you can find out the pattern or the fields of scores data set in this particular format having sequential number, name, gender, and everything so on. And now coming back to our question again, is, is executed using scores table, what will A represent at the end of execution? They had just asked us to find out what does A represent at the end of this execution of 18 steps. Okay, now let's find out. a is equal to 0 fine these are all very basic steps a, this is a basic step yes fine if we observe in the fourth line there is a flag initiated to true a flag has been declared okay now if x dot physics is greater than 60 if you if, if you observe we are we are implementing a conditional statement called if with a condition of, of the subject score being greater than 60 in case if the student has scored greater than 60 marks in physics subject then the corresponding action will be updating b to false and fine and yes if this is false and if the fifth line is not if, even if the fifth uh, if the fifth condition is not satisfied we do not move on to update b and immediately if this is not satisfied we come down to the next statement at line number eight we check if the student has scored something uh, greater than 60 in the in the in the subject of chemistry yes again Again, with you again, we do check this with the same condition statement. If, if chemistry, if x dot chemistry greater than sixty, again the same. We update b to false. If x dot mathematics is greater than sixty, again, again false. Hence the lines of uh, five, eight, and eleven are completely verifying whether the student has secured more greater than sixty in the relevant subject or not so after after completing this thing what do what do we go in the 14th line in the line number 14 if b you must you must be thinking like yes we have think that the student has secured was six, less than 16 physics yes if yes it is less thing that he scored greater than 60 in physics then let us, let us say 65 is greater than 60 then b will be updated to false so if b here b is a boolean data type which we all are able to declare and a boolean can hold only either a true or a false now if b what should we take b to be here we have initialized b to be as true and again here let us say that we, we got a case where 65 is greater than 60 and b is updated to false and now should we take true or false here in the line number 14 we need to only consider if b is true
I once again repeat not only in this question in any of the questions the default thing or the default action that needs to be uh, taken while verifying while verifying a boolean value is if and only if it is a uh, true we do something if it is a false we directly move on to the else statement if it is given or we just terminate it if there is no else function here there is no else statement so if true if b holds true we increment the value of a with 1 when did the when did the value of b be true when we find when there are no results having greater than 60 that implies the correct option would be the correct the correct option would be number of students with all subject marks at most 60 at most in the sense what at most in the sense less than or is equal to 60 this is what at most means at most in the sense less than or is equal to this is what at most means so the correct so the right option is d and now moving on to the next question the following pseudocode is executed using words data table fine at the end of execution a here they have, in the previous question they have asked this what does a represent and now here they have given us what a captures here they have mentioned us that a a captures the letter count it is the letter count of the second longest word please note down this guys this is the second longest but not the longest second longest assume that the variable max holds the letter count of longest word so here max is the x dot letter count if if we think that x is the if we think that card number x has the is the high is the longest word then max has the letter count of x now we are asked to choose the correct code fragment in order to complete the pseudo code yes fine and now a is equal to 0 this is basic step yes these are all basic steps and now here comes our role of filling the code with right or with the right options and now first verify option wise if x dot letter count is greater than a a is equal to x dot letter count this is an utter wrong option why is this a wrong option i'll just explain you that as well if x dot letter count is greater than a obviously for the first word it would be zero and any every number even 0 0.1 is greater than zero but in our english literature there is no word having a word length of 0 0.1 so in this way if we go on we are in this way if we go on considering we will be getting a with the what will be getting a we will be getting a as the if we follow this line then a stores the maximum length word which is not the required option and now coming to option number two if x dot letter count is less than max this this sounds somewhat right because max we were told that max is the length of uh, max max is the letter count of the longest word in the data set and this is the first position first place or uh, first place holder and we can only compare the second or in or in general 
the second position is always less than the first position so we can do compare the letter count with max and x dot letter count is greater than a obviously x dot letter count would be greater than a because a is 0 always a is 0 right so x dot letter count is greater than a and x dot letter count this is what happens with the first word because a is 0 and when we read the first word a, a gets updated with the very first words letter count let us say that the first word is is so our the max would be somewhat uh, defined earlier and we divide and we do check if it is greater than 2 yes if it is greater than 2 we just increase we just update again a in this way we can we can get the second uh, the second word the second longest length word letter count using option number 2 okay and now comes the next option i mean next question let x be a row in the library table e short fiction e short fiction which returns true if book x is a fiction book with at most again it should be x should be a fictional book it must belong to the genre fiction and at most x dot pages is less than is equal to 400 these are the two mandatory conditions to return true and now let us fill let us fill out the correct option with regard to this given information and now guys is short fiction is a fictional book so if uh, this book should be this should this book should belong to fiction genre so let's go option wise if x dot geno is a fiction and x dot page is less than is equal to 400 yes it is fine but if you observe we are returning false here but in the question they have given us that we return a true value but here we are returning false which is just opposite so this is a wrong option and again coming back to the second option again the first condition say looks true and but here greater than is equal to at most and at least there is a lot of difference between these two key terms which are uh, frequently used in computational thinking subject at most refers to less than is equal to at least in the sense greater than or is equal to at least means greater than is equal to at most means less than or is equal to so this gives us at least so this has given a wrong meaning if we observe if we closely observe the third option everything looks perfect again this is an at least option so this is also false in this way if we go on by eliminating the wrong answers finally we are left with only one option which is d in this way you can either do this by elimination process or you can just cross check the theory that you have understood from the question if you observe the if you observe if you critically observe all the options then if you will you will be finding that x dot gen is a fiction this has been checked whether if it's a fictional book or not if the number of pages are less than or is equal to 400 in the sense at most at most has also been verified and we are returning a true here 
which is not done in the option number 1. So, by verification of knowledge, this is also the right option. And now, question number 65. The given pseudocode is executed using words data set. At the end of execution, count stores the number of sentences with minimum number of words. count stores oh, oh. the minimum number of words that's a high letter issue guys i hope now it is fine stores the number of sentences with minimum number of words the data set that is, that is being used here is words. We are using the words data set here. And now, and now let's, uh, and now let's do the justification part on our end, which is filling the statements with right options. We are given this key parameter of count. Count stores the number of sentences with minimum number of words. Count is zero, which be that's because we haven't uh, read any cards or haven't uh, accessed the data set. A is zero, B is ten thousand, ten thousand. No, no, it is one lakh. While pylon has more cards, fine. Basic step, basic step. And if x dot word ends with a full stop what does this mean x dot word ends with a full stop what does this ask the user to understand from this line it asks it, it tells the user that it is the last word of a sentence last word of a sentence so what can we do only if this is satisfied, we move to the sixth line. If a is equal to is equal to b, but if you really if you closely observe, b is a value which is which cannot be or which can neither always which can never meet the given value of one thousand. I mean one lakh until and unless it's a very huge library data set if a is equal to is equal to b what do we do we need to just increment the value of count right that is because if you consider let us think that b is not one lakh here something let us say b is some 10 read the top card from pile 1 a is equal to uh, the we are doing we are incrementing the value of a because we have read one card a is for a here a stores the number of cards that have been read so far in a particular sentence fine let us say that a, uh, a, he, a, a has uh, 10 cards i mean 10 words and b is also predefined to 10 so if a is equal to is equal to b then what should we do we should increment the value of count by one and now if a is less than b what should we do we we always had something like minimum number of words so if a is less than b we should not we should not increment the value of count 
but rather we have to reinitialize but what should we do we need to reinitialize the value of count again to 1 we only increment the value when when we find the number of sentences here number of sentences means it is a plural form so if we find something less than b then we should if we should reinitialize count to 1 And again, after exiting from that loop, we need to reinitialize a to zero because once a sentence has been completely read, we need to go on. We, we need to move on with a new sentence. That is the reason we are reinitializing a to zero. So, our our right answer would be option number A or option number one. Question number sixty-six. What for the following pseudocode is executed using Olympics using Olympics data set what will count represent at the end of execution okay let's uh, let's investigate that as well count is zero because we haven't read any data so far flag has been initialized to true value basic steps if x dot medal is not a gold that implies we are checking if a if, a, if any athlete has secured silver or bronze this is what you can infer from line number six so from line number six we are only looking at the guys or athletes who's who secured only silver and bronze medals for then we are we are updating the value of flag to be false while pile one has more cards okay if x dot name is is equal to y dot name here we are checking for same athlete move y to pile 2 if y dot medal is not a gold again the same silver and a bronze flag is false if flag count is equal to count plus 1 as i said you in the very beginning we should only move on to the next step after an if condition having boolean value inside it as a verification or a conditional statement then we need to check only if it is a true if true count is equal to count plus one so what can we do here when does this value of true uh, when do we have the value of flag to be always a true until and unless we find an athlete who has uh, who has obtained silver or bronze medals the flag remains to be always true so from this sense we can do we can do declare that the answer is to be who have won only the gold medals until and unless we are finding something like not is equal to gold we are not updating flag to be false so flag is true whenever there are gold medals only Therefore, option number C is the right option. And here comes the next question. The following pseudocode is executed using scores table. This is also fine. Scores. Let B be a positive integer value. What does the procedure do something compute? Let's take that out as well. Procedure do something B. B is a parameter here d is 0 c is 100 okay while table 1 has more rows read the first row x in table 1 if x dot physics is greater than d obviously for the first card it would be greater than d 
बिकॉज नो स्टूडेंट स्कोर समथिंग जीरो अंटिल एंड अनलस ईवन तो ईवन इफ द स्टूडेंट इज एबसेंट ही विल बी गिवेन ही और शी विल बी गिवेन ए बी बट नॉट जीरो सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स टू द वेरी फर्स्ट कार्ड्स गेट अपडेटेड टू द द वैल्यूज ऑफ डी एंड सी विल बी द कार्ड हैविंग द कार्ड हैविंग नंबर वन इन द सीक्वेंसल ऑर्डर एंड नाउ इफ डी माइनस सी इज ग्रेटर दैन बी वॉट इज दिस बी हियर वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट गिवेन दैट वी आर ओनली टोल दैट इट इज अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर वैल्यू रिटर्न ट्रू हेल्स रिटर्न फॉल्स फ्रॉम दिस वॉट शुड बी वॉट आर बी बींग आस्ट हेयर वॉट इज द प्रोसीजर डू समथिंग कंप्यूट डू समथिंग कंप्यूट्स और डू समथिंग इज अ प्रोसीजर विच गिवस ट्रू वेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैक्सिमम फिजिक्स मार्क्स एंड मिनिमम फिजिक्स मार्क्स इज एटलीस्ट बी वाई डिड वी से दैट इट इज एटलीस्ट बी We have said that it is at least B because we are using a greater than or is equal to. As I said earlier, greater than is equal to means at least. Less than is equal to means at most. So output's true if the difference between there there is nothing here. This question is a sole five marks carrier. only for grammatically understanding the question here there is nothing much logic also being applied here outputs true yes it is giving a true if the difference between maximum physics marks if x dot physics is greater than d yes as i said to you the first card would be having d and again if x dot physics is less than c for sure no one in our data set which has been discussed in the four weeks content has 100 in physics so obviously the highest scorer would be c fine sorry the highest scorer should be d here and the least scorer is c here therefore d minus c means maximum minus minimum that is what they have given here as well we are returning true that's what we have uh, that, that's what they have just written in the in a basic english for that they have given 5 marks and now again the next question a company has three branches in each of the five states in each of five different states the revenue generated by each branch per year is in the given table below tamil nadu 30 Oh, oh if you guys wonder this is the question that i had in my qualifier exam as well this is a repeated question rb1 rb2 rb3 what are these rb1 three branches revenue branch revenue of branch 1 rb1 means revenue by revenue of branch 1 rb2 means revenue of branch 2 rb3 means revenue of branch 3 this is what we need to develop a logical understanding and now at the end of execution of following pseudo code the company has closed its branches in one of the five states based on the values told in closing state choose the state in which the in which the branches have been closed values told in closing state yes now we need to move on to the uh, procedure only if we understand the procedure and its uh, and its out and its output only then we can tell which state has been removed so 
c is equal to 0 x closing state is none minimum is 1000 mm, ok these are all basic steps which have been we, which we have been discussing so far these are all minimum is 1000 all are basic steps if a revenue REV stands for revenue if revenue is less than minimum obviously revenue would be less than minimum but we need to we only get the value after we visit or after we develop a conceptual understanding what of what this get something procedure does from this statement we can clearly understand that get something is a, is a procedure which accepts three parameters as its values and now get something a b c if a greater than c and b gra a greater than b let us say get something one two three if a greater than c in the sense one greater than three and one greater than two obviously this is a false hence we do not move on to this when we take one two three into example if b greater than c and b greater than a two greater than three and two greater than one this is a true while this is a false hence this is also a false so what we need to do here i have taken one two three as a rough example but here we need to substitute each and every 30 32 and 40 into the parameters a b and c if a if a is greater than c and now let's start with tamil nadu as a first uh, case tamil nadu a b and c if a greater than c if 30 greater than 40 is 30 greater than 40 here no hence if false if false and anything with false and other thing would be a false because it is an end operator we need both the operands to be true hence this is a false statement again if b is if b greater than c and b greater than a if 32 greater than 40 again this is a false Tamil Nadu again it's a false written a plus c if we observe for the case of Tamil Nadu both the lines number both the lines 13 and 16 are giving us false hence we only written a plus b which is 62 hence 62 are uh, for the case of Tamil Nadu it is 62 and now coming to Madhya Pradesh if a greater than C 48 is greater than 22 and a greater than B 48 is greater than 20 yes fine written B plus C we written 20 plus 22 which is 42 again this is done for Madhya Pradesh and in a similar fashion we do for the remaining three states as well and we check the end we end, and then we check the value and the, then then we check the state having the minimum value and thereafter finding the minimum value associated with the particular state we close that branch in this way Madhya Pradesh is the right answer And now coming to question number 69. Question number 65, what is what is it asking us? Mm. The following pseudocode is executed using the scores table. At the end of execution, A captures the number of students 
who are from Chennai or please make note of this guys it is an OR operator here OR in the sense it should be it, it gives us a true if it is a true or a false or a false or a true or true or a true either of the three cases give us a true as final output or have physics marks more than the average physics marks assume that AVG average holds the average physics marks the pseudocode may have some mistakes yes fine let's do that if we observe we need to critically observe the key statements that have been given here who they should be either the total number of students who are from Chennai or they should have physics mark greater than the average physics marks so a is 0 fine while this is all these are all basic steps C has been initialized to false yes this is also right as we are only interested to find out the students from Chennai we only need to update C to true if the corresponding city of the student appears to be Chennai hence this is also right that thing wrong up to line number 6 and now if x dot physics is greater than average oh no here comes the first error here we are told that it returns at uh, it, it captures more than average physics that means or have high physics marks more than average physics marks means this should return a true here but it is returning a false so this is the first statement which has been found to be having an error I will just highlight that line number 9 is the first error if C A is equal to 1 if you observe this should be eliminated we should not keep A is equal to 1 we should increment A with A plus 1 yes if you observe this has been done as well we should not increment we should not assign a variable yet a value to variable a we should increment rather a is a variable something that stores the total number of students or have physics marks yes this is what we need to do we need to increment as it is a variable any such assumptions of declaring values should be done in the very beginning where we have done for a is equal to 0 these, these have to be done here but not in the middle of process and now coming to question number 70 again we need to find out the mistakes it is a multiple select question at least two verbs a captures the number of sentences with at least two verbs and at most two vowels verb count should be greater than two and vowel count should be less than or is equal to 2 and have mistakes and our entire code should run only around these two uh, conditions and now fine let us go through the code and now comes the very first statement which we need to cross check for error it is a verb yes count vowels yes count vowel vowel count should be yes this is fine up to here it is very correct up to line number 5 there are no errors and now coming to line number 7 if x dot word ends with a full stop we are checking whether if it is a whether if it is a end of a sentence yes and if it is an end of a sentence we need to cross check if there are minimum if there are a minimum of two so yes that is also fine 
if this is satisfied what are we doing here we are incrementing a that is fine good and if you observe what the thing is that if we if we reinitialize c to 0 inside if if iteration this goes on to be a repetitive process the value of c would be 0 here itself we won't be returning c or something we will be only returning c as 0 in case if there is written statement associated in count ovals no yes so the 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 correct step is that we need to update c outside the if iteration that is here the iteration has started and here itself the end of this is we need to compare the left hand side this entire thing is a case and is one iteration and after incrementing the value of a we need to we need to reinitialize c to 0 only after coming out of the if iteration which is in the line number 12 c should be 0 should be here and this line number 12 should move on to line number 13 and line number 13 goes to line number 14 in this way the non in, in this given procedure there are 26 lines in total as i said if you do like this it will move it will be 27 as a new line gets appended here to the 12th line so this is one of the mistakes and now coming to procedure we haven't cross check the procedure why a procedure count vowels y is y is a parameter i is equal to 1 how i is equal to 1 if you closely observe or if you relatively observe i is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 we cannot consider something as 1 the only possible initializations are some random number which is greater than uh, what we say if which is greater than the highest possible value in case if you want to find out the minimum it can be let us say if you wanted to find out the maximum mark minimum marks for 100 so in this case we can initialize something to be 101 because no, not, nothing such gets 101 it can be 101 in a similar way there is a possibility that i can be one as well so it should be zero i should be a zero here or if you closely observe while i greater than or is equal to one because this is greater than or is equal to one this should be somewhere around 100 something that would also give us a meaningful uh, value so this is one of the possible errors yes this is also an error line number 17 is an error line number 10 is an error and if i letter of y or y dot vowel is a uh, y dot word is a vowel here we are checking for the total number of vowels present inside the word which is uh, which should be greater than or is equal to 2 which is sorry it should be less than or is equal to 2 the value of b is always less than or is equal to 2 which is given in the question so line number 23 i is equal to i minus 1 yes fine written b in this way options uh, c and d are uh, mistakes here now coming to 71 and 72 scores data set stephen and lily both have scored the highest mark in mathematics which is 97 97 is the highest mark high mark in mathematics highest in mathematics hm is for highest in mathematics 97 answer the sub questions let all the cards be arranged in a single pile called pile 1 in such a way that Stephen's card is below the Lily's card that implies if Lily's card is card number 1 Stephen is at card number 2 this is what they have given us in the question choose the correct option if the condition in line 4 is given as x dot mathematics is greater than a 
what will the values of a and b be at the end of execution hmm. yes if you see closely is this is only greater than but not greater than or is equal to if it is greater than or is equal to as stephen is below lily then we would have updated stephen to be in the place of lily but here as a first come first serve basis lily has been updated with uh, a and the name of lily is present in b therefore lily the 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 corresponding values of lily will be stored in a and b because of only greater than symbol if it was greater than or is equal to symbol then the answer would have been stephen and 97 in if the line for yes this is what i have said right now as this is having a greater than or is equal to symbol and we have two records having same values the value that has been updated in the very latest step which is stephen at card number 2 Stephen is at two. This is what we access the very latest really. Therefore, Stephen would be updated inside A and B's. And now, question number seventy-three. What does the given pseudo code compute using words table? A while table one has more rows. Basic steps. if do something again we have been introduced into a new procedure again move x to table 1 oh no everything is in turn the in terms of do something for this we need to visit do something procedure once do something is a procedure having a single parameter declared inside it i is equal to 1 count is 0 while one letter one is less than or is equal to y dot letter count fine mm -hmm. okay this is also making sense return count yes fine so what does this do here the given pseudo code it computes count what does this count what is this count what does this count actually calculate count is equal to 0 count is equal to 0 this contains here if you closely observe we are checking if it is a vowel or a not yes we are checking if the random letter of the word is a vowel or a not in case if it is a vowel then we are incrementing the value of count so in this way we can understand that the answer is somewhat related to vowels and now we cross check that all are on vowels but there are something which are related to the letter count as well but if you closely observe we are not considering letter count or we are not taking letter count into our assumption of answer because we only we only we will only be able to access the letters of an all we only we will be able to only access the alphabets of a word whenever we know the letter count value so our answer should have only vowel count but not letter count Yeah, yeah, this is option A is wrong. Option B, based on vowel count, let us keep this aside. Let us not consider this to be right answer as of now, because there are there might be some options having vowel count as well. Letter count and the vowel count, obviously, this is false. On letter count, either on letter count or vowel count. But if you if you relatively observe, after moving on. Why only after this letter count is satisfied? Satisfied, we are moving into the checking of that particular letter present at that eighth position. So, 
it is no way it is relatively it is relatively no way associated with letter count say for example is is has a letter count of 2 what does this do here obviously the value of count would be 1 here yeah right so in a similar way the letter count is only made is only to make sure that the index doesn't go out of range let us say the word is has two letters but if we say that i is equal to i plus one i is equal to i plus one up to so on if we go on something like i is equal to three but is is a word which has only two letters and three is greater than two but then this condition doesn't get satisfied so in this way letter count is not associated with the answer only the only based option is vowel count in this way you need to think logically as well and now comes question number 74 the following pseudocode is executed using words table yes t1 t2 t3 t4 computed in the previous question okay do something fine here they are asking us what will count represent initially they have given count is equal to 0 because we haven't uh, we haven't accessed any of the data elements mm -hmm. table 1 table 2 if we uh, if we are uh, if we observe this get count of match is the name of a procedure with the uh, with the parameter being first table or the corresponding table count a what do we count here count a let us check that as well these are all basic steps move x to table 2 table 1 has more rows everything it is basic step count a is equal to count a plus do the match again they have given us a new procedure again move table these are all basic steps which are this 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 all the ones that have crossed out are basic steps except this and this only these two are new statements which are not found in regular intervals and now let's visit this procedure do they match if a dot letter count is is equal to b dot letter count with this statement with the first statement we are checking whether the two words are having same number of uh, letters or not do something a is, is equal to do something b mm -hmm. for this we need to visit do something in the sense this procedure here we are checking for the number of uh, vowel count so we should check for the options having vowel count with them as well in that way in that elimination process we get the first option to be wrong but different vowel this is also a wrong or the same vowel if you observe it is given or statement here or means any of them can be true but here it is mandatory that both should be true here because this is an end operator both should be true so true or a false either can be either should be giving us a true but we need the letter count to be same as well the same letter count and the same vowel count this is what we need here this do something gives us the vowel count but here this condition clearly tells us they are having the same letter count Hence, having same letter count is also mandatory condition. Therefore, the relevant option is B. In this way, we have we have completed discussing the CT question paper, guys. I hope everyone are clear with the discussion as well. And uh, I and I wish everybody all the best. Thank you, guys.